The Project Japan. In various fields from energy to transportation and the environment, there is a growing recognition of the need to create a new type of city that realizes a sustainable future and convenience for residents. Smart city initiatives to build such next generation cities have already been launched across Japan. We see the promotion of smart cities as the realization of Society 5.0. Society 5.0 is a vision of a society of the future centered on people. We need to change how cities are designed so that they're human centric. Individual lifestyles and work styles are diversifying. Given the current coronavirus pandemic, I believe a crucial point of smart cities of the future will be how we can enhance the happiness of people. Shimizu Corporation has been developing the Toyosu area together with the local community from more than 30 years ago to create a city that grows over time with residents. In July of 2020, Toyosu's smart city was selected as a smart Tokyo model district by the metropolitan government. The project involves 13 companies from the private sector working with industry, the government, and academia. Central to Toyosu's smart city is the Toyosu Rokuchome project, being spearheaded by Shimizu. We spoke to company president Kazuyuki Inoue at the recent SeaTech trade show about their initiative. We are carrying out a project to develop Block 4-2 and Block 4-3 of Toyosu Lokuchome in front of Toyosu Market. Our plan is to build an integrated complex, which will include a large rental office building. The biggest hotel in the Toyosu area, a transportation plaza for the new Tokyo Bus Rapid Transit System, and a large deck above it. The complex will have a total floor space of 116,000 square meters. The complex is situated about four kilometers from Tokyo Station. Shown on the right is Mabuks Toyosu, a rental office building in the Tokyo waterfront area. With office space of over 6,600 square meters per floor, this facility also has a rooftop garden and a wraparound balcony, as well as a myriad of shared spaces. On the left is Hotel La Vista Tokyo Bay. It's an urban resort hotel equipped with a large communal bath and pool on the top floor. The transportation plaza in the center will serve buses of the new Tokyo BRT transportation system and those directly linked to Haneda and Narita airports. Combined with the upper deck, it is called Toyosu Michino Eiki, or Roadside Station. Roadside stations in outlying regions are places where they sell local specialties, and they're also rest areas for drivers. The new urban type roadside station we're envisioning is different. It will be at the heart of human centric cities and also serve to provide information in the event of a disaster. In addition, practical trials related to smart cities can also be carried out. It can act as a hub to connect people and transportation in this new age and for the creation of human centric cities. The company has forged partnerships with various startups for this newly built Toyosu Roadside Station. They're also working on systems to ensure safety and security for shops and users, such as offering real time information on congestion in restaurants, cafes, and lavatories, as well as coronavirus prevention measures. The rapid spread of digitalization in recent years has led to the adoption of operating systems by not only mobile devices such as tablet PCs and smartphones, but also by cars and IoT devices. Similarly, to realize advanced building operation services, Shimizu has developed a building operating system called DX Core to support facility software applications and integrated workflows. With our buildings until now, 
We've naturally been able to acquire information about the timing of how equipment, such as air conditioning and lighting, operate. With DX Core, we can also acquire information about the movement of people inside buildings, when, where, and for how long they were in a certain place, and the route they took. In the future, robots will become commonplace in buildings, so we'll also be able to acquire information on where a robot is, what route it took, and what it carried. We'll be able to find out everything that's happening within a building. All of the information related to people, things, and robots. By accumulating that data, we can make building operations more efficient and reduce costs. As part of coronavirus prevention measures, DX Core can be linked to security cameras equipped with a facial recognition application at buildings with entry exit controls and update building functions such as adding a temperature monitoring application and controlling building wide ventilation. By implementing DX Core in all buildings and connecting them to the cloud, we can acquire data on buildings that are similar, for instance. One building may be energy efficient in operations, but another similar building may be energy inefficient. We can analyze and diagnose the causes through a digital twin simulation and apply the results to the physical world. It can play a role in linking and controlling building equipment and systems. Modern day cities and buildings are becoming increasingly bigger, more complex, and more advanced, making it difficult for first time visitors to smoothly reach their destination. To solve such issues, Shimizu has developed a voice operated navigation system called Inclusive Navi, which utilizes cutting edge information and communications technology, as well as artificial intelligence. Conventional systems have an accuracy range of about five meters, but we developed technology to improve the measurement method and bring that down to within two meters. We believe it is one of the world's most sophisticated indoor location measurement systems. It will also allow us to provide navigation services to those with visual impairments. What's more, we're making efforts to provide people in wheelchairs or with strollers with information, such as the precise location of elevators, for instance, so that they can use the system stress-free. For others, we guide them to the shortest route to their destination. We make sure to offer information tailored to each user. They say that by linking this navigation service to various types of transportation, they will be able to expand the scope of mobility support services across an entire city. A crucial element in realizing a smart city is mobility such as autonomous vehicles and mobile robots. Shimizu has been carrying out research and development to connect facilities to cars and robots by creating an experimental environment with both physical and virtual spaces. Buildings until now have been designed around people. We also believe it's important to create buildings that are also easy to use for robots and autonomous vehicles. Here, at the main building of the Shimizu Institute of Technology, the elevators and automatic doors are interconnected and can be remotely controlled to allow this robot to easily move about the building. For example, when a visitor is scheduled to arrive at the reception area, a guidance robot moves to the entrance ahead of time and is ready to greet the visitor. It leads the way into the elevator and guides the person to the designated floor and conference room. In addition, when a car is called using an app, a pedestrian navigation system guides the person to the pickup area. 
At the same time, an autonomous vehicle is activated. In this way, seamless movement from within buildings to destinations inside and outside a building is realized. We are researching how to connect buildings to robots and autonomous vehicles in this way. By realizing this, we will be able to offer guidance services, delivery services, and car pickup services within buildings and within smart cities. We believe this will benefit everyone from building users, of course, to building owners and service providers. We can satisfy the needs of everyone, and that will raise the value of facilities. That's one of the objectives of our research. A smart city that offers convenience and happiness. It's said that urban development itself is a 50-year plan. In the past 50 years, there have been tremendous advancements in information technology. Within Tokyo, Toyosu has been selected by the land, infrastructure, transport, and tourism industry in the Tokyo Metropolitan Government as a leading model of smart cities. I think it will be especially significant if Toyosu can become an example for other top cities in the world and set a global standard. Moves to reimagine the city are underway to realize a sustainable society of the future.